to my channel. I know I've been off YouTube for a little bit, just pretty chaotic and I haven't been able to get on a true schedule. But now I'm on a true schedule. I am in like the Christmas spirit, the holiday spirit in general. So I'm honestly just like a better mental space. Um, not gonna lie, it's been pretty hard with two under two. Um, but I wanna get back into YouTube itself. I enjoy doing it. And so I thought today would be a perfect day to do, Ethan's coughing, a perfect day to do a day in the life. So we have a couple things going on today. So I have Ethan's speech at 11 o'clock, um, which I can go a little bit more in detail that like a little bit later, maybe when the boys are taking a nap. So definitely before 11 o'clock, I need to get everything generally picked up around here. So this is like what a normal like weekend is. I don't do any cleaning on the weekend usually, like sometimes so maybe I'll do a load of laundry, but usually I like to have like the weekend to be like complete break and not do anything. Unless I really fell behind during the week and then I'll clean up on the weekend. Anyway, so generally what you're going to see is from the weekend. And I did a big shopping this weekend because I want to do a Christmas tree in each boy's room. So I got individual trees and like ornaments and stuff, which is crazy that I went to Target to get these trees. There was only like maybe three left. So I was glad that I got two of them. And then like all of their ornaments were like almost sold out. And then I went to um, at home and that was crazy. That was seriously like cleaned out. I got like the last black set of ornaments and it wasn't even like a full black set. It was like mixed in with red, white and black. So hopefully I have enough. Um, I'm gonna pull them out and see like how many I have. If I don't think I have enough black, then I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby, which I think I'm gonna to go to Hobby Lobby anyways today because um, they didn't have any tree skirts that I liked enough to buy. And I feel like Hobby Lobby is like the number one place to get all of your Christmas stuff. So maybe I should have just waited to go to Hobby Lobby, but knowing me, I'm way too impatient for that. Anyways, so yeah, little bit of a tangent there. So we have Ethan's speech at 11, so I have to clean up before. And then I have to, have my blood pressure checked um, at my doctor's office. So I don't think I went into detail about this. So after I had Owen, obviously you get to decide if you wanna go back on birth control or anything like that. So obviously I decided I was gonna go back on birth control and I wanted to try something different than the pill because like I can be forgetful about taking a pill every single day. So obviously if you've been on the pill before, you miss, taking it for like a day or two, you immediately get your period. So at one point I was like having my period like every week cause I would just forget about it. So I wanted to get something that was a little bit more, I don't know, that I wouldn't have to take something every day. So I got on the depo shot and I got the shot and I only took one dose of it because my mood swings were all over the place. And it might've been like a mix with postpartum too, but I think that like mainly that like that set me off like a deep end and I did not like how I felt on it at all. Um, and then I was religiously working out every single day and still not losing weight. So um, I talked to my doctor and he said that it is a potential like to gain weight while you are on the depot shot. So I was like, I'm done. And then, um, yeah, so I was only gonna get like maybe two or three shots all together because I like to have my kids close in age. So, um, and then I found out to get pregnant after the depo shot, you have to like let it chill out of your body or like not have the shot for six months, like have your body go back to normal for six months before you like, you could even get pregnant. So I was like, that is not for me at all. And plus my blood pressure was high. So, and it like didn't go down like the whole entire time I had depo and then even after it. So hopefully today when I go in, my blood pressure will be back to normal. I have been taking it and it has been a little bit high, even with me just taking the pill. Yeah, like I went back on the pill and I tried to take it like every night before bed. Um, ultimately, I only took the pill for maybe three months. And then I decided that I was just gonna get off of it let my body go back to normal because like I was still having high blood pressure. So I wanted my body to be completely normal 
and um the fact that like i just want my body to be in a good normal cycle so i can like track when i'm ovulating and when i have my period and everything through my app that i have on my phone so that's where we are i've been off my birth control for a month and then obviously tracking everything to make sure i don't get pregnant now but in the next couple of months like Michael and I are deciding like when we want to have our next kid, like how close in age do we want him or her to Owen. So we're kind of like going through those steps right now. So we're, like, we're not trying to conceive right now. Don't think of that. Like Owen will just be eight months old like next week. So um, I got pregnant with Owen when Ethan was like nine, ten months old. So that's generally where I'm at with birth control being on... Um, you know, trying to be on a normal schedule with it so I can conceive generally fast like I did the last two. I think those are generally like kind of one of the bigger updates besides Ethan's speech um, and Owen has a cranial helmet. So he had a really bad flat spot and I can do like a whole like catch up update on Owen because I feel like, I don't remember the last time I did an update for him, maybe like three months or so. So I feel like I have a lot of catching up to do for Owen in that aspect, but also for Ethan as well. Like Ethan, when we started speech back in July, I think we started, he knew maybe like two words and they weren't consistent enough and he wouldn't try, he wouldn't mimic or anything. But now we just like had a turning point like three weeks ago and it's like he will try everything, he will imitate everything. So he has like over a hundred words now and it's it feels really good that he can communicate and he finally said mama. He was so stubborn about saying it for like the longest time. He would just say dad, car, those are his two favorite things, ball, toodles. And he finally said mama last week and now that is like his favorite word and I'm so grateful for that and I never knew what it was gonna feel like for him to finally say mama and realize it was me I cried like crazy and yeah so it's it's been going good um, yeah so we have a cute little two-year-old and a cute little almost eight month old even though they've had their struggles with you know speech and then Oh, and having that big huge flat spot and having to get a cranial helmet they are generally happier kids now so that's why i'm back into youtube because you know when happy kids happy mama so we're good so let's see if i can get ethan to say it ethan who am i mama, mama yeah good all right so does anyone else's dog just walk up to you like when your hands down like this and just lick you? No. That's Doug. Doug to the T. Literally my hand was just down and he just came over and bleh, on his way through. Gross. Okay. So let's start getting cleaned up in here. It's not bad. Like there's barely any dishes in the dish or er, in the sink, so I just have to unload and then reload that. I didn't finish putting away my groceries from yesterday like I put all like the cold stuff away and then like Sundays we usually go over to Michael's family's house or Michael's parents house for football so I rushed to get the groceries out so we could be over there for the one o'clock game so I got like the last time slot from like 12 to 1 to pick up my groceries so I had to get them and only unload the cold stuff and then so everything else needs to go in my pantry, gets put away. Like I'm gonna make a crock pot meal today and I'll show you guys that. Um, I actually found it off of TikTok and I did it for my mom when I was down at my mom's house for like a good week and a half while Michael was on a hunting trip. Anyway, so I'm gonna make it again today. And I'll show you guys everything with that. It's really simple. It's like three ingredients or four ingredients or so. Um, yeah, so let's get right on to it.
crock pot meal now but i'm gonna put a liner in first because it's so much easier to clean up with a liner i like won't make a crock pot meal unless i have a liner and i don't know how big this crock pot is so i can't like tell you like reference wise like how much i'm putting into it it's not like my smallest one but i don't think it's like the biggest ones either but I think I'm going to end up doing like two chicken breasts in it. Anyway, so I just put my liner on. And I just switched my batteries. Of course. Anyway, so I got a pack of four chicken breasts. So I'm going to do two for this recipe. And I have another recipe planned later this week. But we're going to do this. Just open the package here. So I'm going to lay my two chicken breasts in the crock pot. There. I'm gonna wrap that up later. Anyways, I'll just touch raw chicken. The recipe doesn't call to add like minced garlic to it, but like I like garlic, and so does Michael. So I'm just gonna add it in there. I'm just gonna do like I just do another scoop because we like garlic. Okay. Okay, next thing is it adds, it calls for this. Let's see if it like focuses on here or not. Let's see. Whoop. Let me tap on it, there we go. So this is um, the Parmesan garlic from Buffalo Wild Wings. And this was not at Target, even though it is at some Targets. So see if it's at your Target, if you wanted to make this recipe or not but it was not at mine. So I had to go to our grocery store to get it. But, let's see. I can never pull those with my nails. Anyway, so it calls for one of these. I did get two just in case if I didn't think it was saucy enough, but also if I wanted to make it again. But let's see here. So you dump all of this in. Dump it all in. That's gonna be enough. So I will have one to make this recipe again. Okay, so the next you're gonna fill this with milk. So what I did last time is that I dumped it in here and shook it up. So I tried to get as much of the sauce out as possible. I overfilled it last time, so I'm trying not to do that like that. So dump some of it out. I'm gonna shake it up. Try to get as much as possible out. Okay. Dump it out. In there. I only need one block of cheese. I just thought about that. I was thinking about like I made a whipped cream cheese and I was thinking that I needed two from this whipped cream cheese, but I don't. So you need an uh, eight ounce block of cream cheese. Next. Take this all out. And then you want to cut it into pieces and like spread it around the crock pot so it's not all in just one area. This would be a lot easier if it came out as a block, but it's not. <laughs> okay. Next, you're gonna want some Parmesan cheese, um, shredded, not grated. And I realized when I bought this, like I thought it was like one of the big bags and it wasn't. See this one, it doesn't go in my favor. It just ripped it off instead of whatever. So we're gonna take a knife and cut around. So I'm gonna use all of it. Okay. So I thought this was like one of the big bags, but it wasn't. So I'm gonna use all of this cheese. 
and I'm actually gonna add some more. I had some like Italian style in my fridge, so I'm just gonna add some more onto it. And of course, like, do as much cheese as you want. Like, there's no distinct, like, how much cheese you need to have. This is not baking, this is cooking. So add as much cheese as you want. If you guys like cheese, obviously add more. If you don't like cheese as much, don't add as much. Don't add as much. Okay. Anyways, so now this is going to cook for on high for four hours or low for eight hours. So it is nine o'clock in the morning for us right now. So I'm going to do high or sorry, low for eight hours. And then, yeah. And then I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. Like the, it's covered in cheese, like our aspect of things. Again, do as much cheese as you want. So I'm gonna make Owen an egg um, because he seems like extra hungry this morning. So let me show you how I make an egg for him. So I take a small little Tupperware container and I've had the mistake that the egg rolls off the table. Spray it with your cooking spray so the egg doesn't stick to this. Then crack the egg in here. Maybe, okay. Okay. And then beat the crap out of it and put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. And it's like the fluffiest egg for him. I don't eat eggs, but I know that it's really easy for him to pick up the small little pieces once I cut into them. So, just so you know. So this is what it looks like after 45 seconds. Pop it right onto the plate there, let that cool. And it looks like this. And then I cut it into like small little bits here for him. So it's cool enough now. Just gonna dump it out. <laughs> he is such an eater though. Most of that will get in that bib and then I'll have to do like a second helping for it, but he does a pretty good job of putting it in his mouth now. So this area is like the play zone, but it just becomes a dumping area for the weekend. And this is where we have speech. So I have to clean this all up, which is, it's not bad, but it's like, what the heck happened in here? So I'm gonna put some Christmas music on and just like get this done. Ethan's done with speech. It's around like 1.30 now. Ethan is sitting in his chair and I think he's still eating. Um, and Owen is asleep in his swing. He didn't like fully finish his nap this morning. So he is finishing it out in his swing right now. But I did just get, maybe if I block it, maybe not. 
Kan så smut. Kan så smut det. Twist this here. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Anyway, so um, I just got an order in from Shein, and some of it is like Christmas gifts, so I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I did order some stuff for myself since I don't really fit into my other stuff still. So, and obviously you wanna switch up your wardrobe a little bit when it comes to like fall, winter. Um, yeah, so let me open this. I've been watching Christmas Vacation. Um, I think that this is for someone else. So, I'm gonna open it below here. Yeah, this is for someone else. So, I'm gonna fold that right back up. Actually, I'm gonna go through all of these real quick and pick out the ones that are for me versus other people for Christmas, because obviously I'm not gonna show them. Okay. I went through everything now. So this I got for myself. It's like a long sleeve, but it's like ruffled on the top and it's green. I don't know why what the color's showing up here, but it's green, little puffies, and these like little buttons on the side here. It looks kind of short, which I guess that's fine because like I was planning on wearing it with like high-waisted pants anyways, so I can just tuck it in. And then I got these earrings. Oops, they're there. They are hoop earrings, but it's like pressed. If you can see that or not. Like pressed hoops. So they would look like that. Pretty excited about these ones actually because I've been really into hoops lately and I don't know why, but clearly because I have hoops on today. These are diamond stud. Where these are just pressed metal, but they're like a gold. They're almost kind of like rose gold to be honest. And then this last thing, which I'm pretty excited for is another like open sweater cardigan thing. And it's like this, Ooh. it's right here. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't know if this is gonna fit over my long sleeve here. We could try it though. Oh yeah. That's what I wanted it to be. Yeah, like oversized, but like tight at the wrist still. That's what I wanted it to be. Do you like it, Doug? Huh? Do you like it? Do you like it? It's nice. I do you like it actually? A lot. Tell me your husband drove your car without telling me your husband drove your car. <laughs> he is so much taller than me. Okay, now it's dark out because it gets dark out at five o'clock at night now. But um, yeah, my blood pressure is high still. It was 148 over 82 the first time they checked it. And then they let me sit there for a little bit and then it was 140 over 82. So basically I need to get that under control before trying to get pregnant. And I think, whoop, and I kind of think that it was just like a random one because I have been checking it and it hasn't been that high. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. And um, yeah, I'm not sure. So I'll just have to keep it, try to keep it under control and try to take a couple deep breaths, try not to have so much anxiety. But um, yeah, so basically I'm going to head home and it's now five o'clock. So I'm sure I'm gonna get stuck in terrible traffic, but I'm gonna see by the time I get to my house to see if Hobby Lobby is going to be an option or not. If I'm sitting in traffic for over 30 minutes, I'm not going to go tonight and I'll probably just go tomorrow with the boys. I just got home from Hobby Lobby and 
Michael finished the dinner. So basically the next thing was to wait until it's done, pull all the chicken, and then boil your choice of pasta. I did penne, well I ordered penne and then Michael cooked it. And then he mixed it all together and that's what it looks like. Michael, you say you liked it, right? Yeah, I thought it was good. Good? I approve. You approve? And Ethan liked it too. Anyway, so I just got home. I'm gonna hang out with my boys, eat some dinner, and call it a night. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.